guys, I'm Moody and you're watching Moody Reads. And today I have a book haul for you. <laughs> Before I start this video, I have to mention the fact that I sound and probably look pretty sick. And that is because I am sick. There's just no way around it. I am pretty, pretty sick. But you know, a lot goes on and we have a book haul. So the first book I have to show you is this beautiful, beautiful, amazing edition of Isaac Asimov's Foundation Trilogy and this is a Barnes & Noble um, leather bound edition. Basically this has the uh, the original trilogy, the um, Foundation, Foundation and Empire, and Second Foundation all bound into one of this one beautiful amazing book. So yeah I got this off of Amazon but um, for you people that are lucky enough to live in the US you can get it off um, barnesandnoble.com. Links down below for where you can get this. The next book I have to show you is kind of a surprise because I've never ever actually read a Neil Gaiman novel and that is kind of weird for me because I was always kind of like a goth kid growing up so I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought the Barnes & Noble leather bound edition of Neil Gaiman's American Gods and Anansi Boys and I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> so many people have recommended these books from him. But to be honest, I'm kind of on the fence. I mean, um, I know that he's supposed to be like this master storyteller and um, mythology reimagining person, but I'm kind of scared to read it. I mean, The God of Internet, it just sounds weird, but I'm going to give this a shot, definitely. And I'll probably review it if I like it or not. We'll see. These books are just freaking gorgeous. The next book I got is also a Barnes & Noble's leather-bound edition, and it is the Star Wars Trilogy Leather-Bound. And I actually, oh my god, I just hit myself in the face with this book. I actually already own the novelization of these books, I mean of these movies, but come on now. Look at that book. Look at it. So I just had to get it, and yeah, this has... Star Wars, which would later on be called A New Hope, and it also has The Empire Strikes Back, and <laughs> Return of the Jedi, sorry, I totally spaced out. But yeah, this is amazing, and I'm really looking forward to rereading these stories, and if you're a Star Wars fan, I highly recommend the novelizations, they're really, really, really awesome. And it looks amazing on my shelf. Amazing. So, funny story. When I was getting home from buying the, from, I mean, from getting the Amazon purchase, I actually went into the bookstore and I was like, oh, I'm just going to look. It turned out that they had this amazing sell. And for what you could get one book in half, like half off, you got three books and then you got the fourth one for free. And I was like, what? What is this? So I bought three books and then I got a fourth one, but I gave that one to my mom because she really seemed interested in it. Anyway, the first book I'm going to show you, I actually bought it because of the cover. And then I read the back and I was like, hell yeah. And it is this baby right here. It's called um, The Doors to Par Paradise and it's by D. Yu Lee. And I mean, this cover, I mean, do you see how the pattern of um, the drawing here repeats in the letters? That's just amazing. But anyway, this is actually um, historical fiction. I love historical, I mean, I love historical fiction. And um, this is about an execution, a public execution of a young man. He's executed in the 1970s for opposing the Maoist um, government. And I don't know, this just seemed amazing. Like the, the back, it's just like everyday life. And then you have this execution going on and how that affects a town. And I just thought that was amazing. And, I don't know, I'm really looking forward to reading this, and it's such a beautiful book. Next up, I bought Diary of Berlin by William Shire, Shire, I don't know, it's German. Here. William Ha. Huh. So, yeah. This is basically the journal of a journalist during the rise of the Third Reich. He wrote this journal from 1934 to 1941 because these types of regimens tend to censor news a lot. He wasn't allowed to write what he really thought about everything that was going on, so he wrote this journal, and then later on, I believe this was published after World War II, and it's just basically his journal and what he actually saw happening on the streets. So I thought that this book looked amazing, and 
I love anything to do with World War II. And not in the creepy way that I would, you know, actually love genocide or anything like that. I don't know, I find it so amazing how these mass murderers like Hitler and, you know, so many others are able to get people to congregate around them and believe in what they're saying. So that's why I kind of really enjoy reading about Hitler and World War II and so on. So, yep, that's pretty much why I got this one and it was an amazing deal. So, really looking forward to reading this. And finally, for the third book I got in Spanish is Stitches by David Small. Now, this is a graphic novel, as you can see. And I got it because I had seen it so many times and I was like, eh, you know, I'm not a big reader of graphic novels. I am a reader of comic books, but I just never delved into actual graphic novels. And I gotta say, this graphic novel blew me away. I read it the day I got it and it is amazing. <laughs> Basically, this is a story of the author David Small and it's such a haunting, horrible tale and I just I, it just resounded with me so much because um the author is actually sick a whole lot and I'm sick a whole lot too I'm gonna show you the image that really like sealed the deal for me and I will warn you now if you're sensitive and if you're under 18 you might want to look away right about now up until that moment in the book I was like oh wow this is haunting but when I saw this right here and I'm sorry it's all in Spanish but this is basically him getting an enema. And yes, enema is the same in Spanish and English, so right there. <laughs> that is a really hard image to look at. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, this book is something interesting. And it really is. And if you like graphic novels, and if you're able to kind of look at this stuff, I really recommend this book. So, yeah. And if you're interested in any of these books, if you read any of these books or anything like that, please comment down below, like, subscribe, you know, do your thing, whatever you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Next up, I'm going to have what I'm going to read for the book to read a -thon, and some of these books are actually in that video. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys real soon and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!